Hello everyone, Pally Tub here. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Or should I say my name is Michael Magus? We are inside of the Hufflepuff living quarters. We just got escorted here after the sorting ceremony. And I just had a chance to look around a little bit. There's a lot of detail hidden in this room. Of course, you have the Harry Potter paintings that move around and do stuff. Uh, because normal paintings are far too boring. But there's also tea over here I can come and drink. There are apples on the table that I can eat. And a lot of the stuff in this room is actually interactable with our base spells. Like I can just spin this mirror around and a few other things in the room that I can interact with as well. It's been cool just kind of poking around and seeing what I could do just in here, getting my audio ready for today's episode as always thank you guys for joining me michael has some studying to do though this might be our dormitory but the hufflepuff common room is right this way is it time for magic duels already wow <laughs> the kids don't even react lumos don't worry guys i'll light up this hallway for us it's a little dark i'm getting hobbit vibes here look at this beautiful door oh man now, this is something I would genuinely like to see. All of the different common rooms for the different houses of Hogwarts. That would be super interesting. If you guys are enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I'll try to keep videos coming out for this pretty regularly. Looks like we have a student over here that we can introduce ourselves to. Lenora Everly. Let me put out my wand. <clears throat> it's very rude of me. Hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know whose she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. Um, did, did I really call attention to myself or did I get singled out? For no reason. Yeah, I actually, actually, I have a lot to catch up on. Do you have your notes from any of the earlier years? I've noticed I'm just kind of sitting here smiling. <laughs> I am a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... Being that far behind, I'd feel so... Inadequate. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hardworking too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. I really like that they brought up the fact that she feels like she has qualities for the other houses and not every kid just kind of fits into a cookie cutter of... You have these qualities, and that's your entire character dimension. I like that. I also like that we can see students moving around behind us while this conversation is going on. It's not just kind of freezing time. Although, the longer I look at my character's smile, the more I get lost in it. Uh, why do you think you should have been a Ravenclaw? Well, my brothers were. They both work in ministry now. I suppose you could say that wit runs in the family. My aunt was a Gryffindor, though, and I've always had plenty in common with her. Determination, valor, daring. The old sorting hat was spoiled for choice with me. Well, it was very nice to meet you, Lenora. I'm sure we'll run into each other again. It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. You know, one thing that I've always found weird is why are owls the one that carry mail? I believe, and, and I might be mistaken here, so feel free to call me out down in the comments. I believe they're the slowest flying animal in the world. Why are these cactus dancing? But I mean, I guess you could also have a rat or a cat also deliver your mail too, right? Well, I think I'll take another apple here just to blend in a little bit. Yeah, that was natural. That was good. Looks like there's a few other students here in the common room that we can introduce ourselves to. This is Adelaide Oaks. Hello, Adelaide. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't Obviously sound like you. Things. Something's wrong. <gasps> oh, hello there. Hi. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? Micromagus. Pleasure to meet you. 
Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumours. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? Um... So I would definitely be bragging about that to everyone I met. I would literally start conversations by, hey, have you ever been almost eaten by a dragon? That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Well, um, she clearly deflected the uncle thing, so we're just going to let that go. Nice, nice meeting you. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. There's watering cans going around to all of the plants and making sure that they are very well taken care of above us. This guy looks rather distinguished here, doesn't he? Oh my God, is that cake? Are you just sitting here by the cake? Are you the cake guard? Are you making sure I don't take another one? Oh! Okay. Is there a secret to the stairs? <laughs> I was gonna go up top and look over everything, but I guess... Got, you don't need to do, do the, little cat. Am I not allowed to? Is this how they keep me in the common room? Okay, I guess I'll meet this other person. You know, if you need me to kill that cat, I got an ability ready for it. It's all right. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh, Come on, he went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way, all right? I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. Then how do you get your mail? I thought magical beasts are incredible. I guess I don't have anything in common with you, and I'll never speak to you ever again. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I'd better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. You ever had a pet? Did you have a bad experience? Did anything go wrong? I've had pets my entire life. I couldn't imagine being in a world without them. Have you ever had a pet, Arthur? No. My mother's a muggle. And as soon as the puff skein that my dad brought home stuck its tongue up her nose, it went right <laughs> back to the shop. <laughs> <laughs> her mom wouldn't like her dogs. All right, Arthur, good luck. Nice meeting you, Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Professor Weasley is waiting for me outside of the common room. Well, I hope that's not upstairs. <laughs> what happens if I just walk into other children here? <laughs> also, that watering can is definitely missing. Okay, enough huffle puffing around. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I hope so. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. That makes perfect especially sense. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. O-W-Ls. Owls! Damn it, Michael! Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Wonderful. Here you are. A nice Hogwarts book?
What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, ma'am. I'll just go ahead and put that in my magic pocket. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. I wonder if this is like free form, like I can study the classes I want to, and I'm not on as strict of a schedule as everyone else. That would actually be sick. This way. I'm literally right behind you, Professor Weasley, right, right behind you. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Wonderful. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Did you know there's the doubloons in that? Also train you to be alert to your Lumos. Do keep up. I'm literally right behind you, Professor Weasley. That's starting to not feel good. You keep telling me to keep up. Maybe I'm just a little bit slower than you. You've got a lot more stairs. A lot more years climbing stairs. Oh, Revelio. So you're saying I don't need to see where I'm going. What is uh, going on with your leg? Revelio. Oh, an apple. I had to be closer. Field guide page. Rumored to contain some of Helga Hufflepuff's original creations, the book holds a collection of Hogwarts students' favorite recipes over the centuries. Some dishes, like pickled berigible plums, are likely an acquired taste. You've unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Uh, field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. Oh, so you only learn in this game by applying yourself? That's actually kind of cool. This is your wizarding level. Experience from challenges increases your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenge menu to continue. Okay, uh, click on it. Collecting your first guide page unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select field pages to continue. We are 1% done with this game. Uh, collect field guide pages in Hogwarts. If we find one more, we get a pair of glasses. Each challenge tier special rewards unlock at each tier you complete, or each challenge has tiers. From appearances to critical upgrades, so it's not all just cosmetic. Rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards that you have on. Uh, Professor Weasley? Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Oh! It contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Flu flames. I thought this had to be done in like a fireplace or something. This is how we're going to handle fast traveling. We saw something just like this in the Hufflepuff common room. You can use the map at any time to fast travel to any discovered flu flames. Okay. We should have one in the... Whoa. I wonder if the, the Quidditch field is even open if the season has been canceled. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house common rooms and the Great Hall. Select the Great Hall region to continue. Okay, that has to be right here. So I'm in the region of the Great Hall. And then in this view, you can see flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent flames that you have discovered, including your own house common room. Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. So by clicking on this area, we can see that there is four in the Great Hall region, and we have one unlocked right now, I, I think. Yeah, we just have the Hufflepuff common room. They're listed over on the left. Uh, the right side of your map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouse. This is cool. It's almost like a model on, like, a table. Unfortunately, I can't zoom out to look at it anymore, and we just have to kind of fast travel ourselves right in
And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Wonderful. Lumos. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Unless the stairs move. Oh, there's something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. <laughs> I get the reference. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor. Hogsmeade is the town closest to Hogwarts. They um, sell all kinds of stuff there. It was shown in the movies a lot, and I've been to the, the theme park version in Florida more times than I can count. So I don't think we need that one. What exactly is Defense Against the Dark Arts? It teaches you to defend yourself. I would like to know more about charms. I think that's where we might go first. What will I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Well, thank you very much, Professor Weasley. I will get to those classes and try to replace my stuff as quick as I can. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did pretty well, I think. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. So... <laughs> so he didn't tell her anything so she's trying to get the information out of me now yeah i'm afraid in fact it was awfully dreadful you know i don't even remember a dragon being there professor weasley i'm sorry professor but i'm afraid that's all there is to it hmm almost precisely what professor fig said interesting isn't it speak of the devil professor fig your ears must have been burning oh yes you seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. <laughs> I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Professor Fig, you were kind of letting a little more info today. slip there, my dude. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. Yes, ma'am. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Well, I wonder if there's the day-night cycle, and I actually do have to do all of this today. So we do have a gear tab. It looks like I don't have too much just yet. I am interested in this. Perhaps we'll be getting some useful armor to build out our character a little bit differently. We also have a general inventory, talents that I can't access yet, a, a tab for collections, which I'm already looking at hundreds of collections on this screen. Don't even know where to start with that. Challenges out the wazoo, we're only 1% done there and quest settings and the outpost, which I'm not sure what that is just yet. So, uh, Professor Fig, did you just snap a bug? You know, loose lips sink ships, right? It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival. You sure did. 
You sure did. I didn't like to lie to her. No, I kept our secret safe, bro. I, I could be your secret keeper, Professor Fig. Michael Magus! I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Yeah, if you don't mind. Have a look. I don't know what your responsibilities are as a professor, but sure, I'll take a look at it. Open the map. Done. Uh, this crest, I see it, represents the main quest. Completing main quest will further the story, unlike new features and grant XP. Some quests are locked by spell and or level requirements. In these cases, you will need to be the required level and or have the required spell to activate the quest. New skills can be learned by completing professor's assignments or its quest rewards. So I can kind of zoom in here and look at the class a little bit more. It looks like there is a fast travel pretty close to where both of, of these areas are located. Uh, I want to track myself on the way to Charms class. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. It's like the this Marauder's map. Helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead. What with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Yes, sir. Understood. You know what? I'm going to get to Charms class right now. Uh, excuse me, boy with the beanie. Excuse me. Do you know how to get to Charms class? Did you also just walk down the stairs, turn around when you saw me, and then go back this way? Well, I have to know where this kid is going. What's his schedule like? Oh, he's going back down the stairs. I see. And what do we do when we get to the bottom, boy? We turn around and go back up. Leg development. Magic. Oh, this is cool. <gasps> They're on brooms. I want to do that. I want to join those guys. On the right at Universal, you can fly right underneath that archway right there. Oh, is this another flu flame? Yes, inside of the Charms building. And I didn't have to do anything to activate that. I simply just walked up close to it. That's very nice and very easy. These skeleton, the, the, these statues, their heads are following me as I go through. You okay, bud? Are you hugging yourself? Okay, who's this cat? Hey, who are you? Where are you going? Oh, always pet the cat. So I was on the way up towards my classroom, and I saw that there's actually a chest on the mini-map right here. If I cast a uh, Revelio, does anything show up? Oh, Revelio. is that it way over there? Oh, that's actually so much closer than I thought. The jumper school uniform. I'm in a bathroom. Let let me get out of the bathroom. You can't imagine the way we can make up in the outside. Wow, there's so much noise in this hallway. But it feels really alive. Ghosts were going through fighting each other. There was a cool statue on the way up towards the charms class. And there was another flu flame that leads us right to it. So presumably, we'll be coming back here. 
for some other lessons as well. Look at that handsome devil right there. Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. Peeves Peeverson? The poltergeist? Oh, Peeves. They robbed you in the movies, dude. I'm glad to see you, Peeves. That being said, I'm going to stay very far away from you. But I'm still pleased. Well, it, does class begin when I get here? It's nice of them to wait on me. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome like to Year 5 of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms. Well, one changes the color anyone? and one makes someone anyone? bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic Summoning charm. Accio? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. We squared up pretty fast. Good thing we already made a friend in here. All right, Accio can summon anything to us. I think we just have to say the name of the object. I don't know if it's going to be that specific in this game, though. Steady your wand with the mouse and guide it across the symbols. Yes, we already know this. So here's a nice, perfect Accio. Are you ready? This is so hard. All right, now that should bring the book right into my hands, right? Accio. That is not bad. You goddamn you right. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Yeah, very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. That sounds wonderful. You know, maybe with all this potential that he recognizes now, he'll let me read a book. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> Are you going to throw something and then I pull it back? <laughs> That's a pretty good ac so Accio. Our newest students start us off. Hmm? That was pretty impressive. Why do I have to do everything first? I've never studied magic! God, this is ridiculous. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. Okay, I'm going to start with this one on the right. The sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more. Or it'll I get fail. it! Yes? Let me try! No. So, Accio. Accio. And then let it go? Splendid! Oh, ho, 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 ho. you see that, Professor Ronan? You see that? I'm about to do it again. You ready for this? You watching, kids? Where's my friend at? 
Where's my friend? Where's my friend I made? Is she watching? Akio. Let it go. Too far, too far, too far, too far. Uh, yeah, you're right. That is excellent control. Second guess myself for a little bit there, Professor Ronan, but I think I got it down. Oh, the Quidditch pitch is all decorated over there. And is is that Hagrid's home? Okay, okay, sorry, get distracted. Okay, last time. Akio Blue Ball! Akio. Let go. That's it! Oh my god, I'm the best Akio you've ever seen! Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. Ah. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. Is that my friend? It probably is. Are You've you starting drama? Just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. So we just go fast, or am I throwing her red balls onto the ground? Why are you standing so close to me? Let us see this. Wait a minute, can I stand here and knock her ball off? <laughs> Wait. That is how it's done. All right, Akio. Akio. I got 50 points. I got 50 points. I got it. I got it. Didn't do what I wanted to do there, but we still got it. Oh, she locked in another 50 though. All right. All right, Accio Blue Ball. Pull it in with some heat. Let it go. <laughs> Here we go. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you hit my thing. Don't you hit my thing. All right, there let's see go. if I can get the angle on this. This is about to be epic. I don't think I can, actually. I'm just going to bring this one in for a nice, soft landing. All I got to do is score the points, and I win. Accio Blue Ball. Accio. Too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Oh! I'm a prodigy. A perfect score. Remarkable. Blue Ball Prodigy. That's what they call me. Michael Magus. That's right. Don't forget it. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? I thought we already did. Wait, <laughs> wait, what is I this? I think we are well past interesting at this point. Yeah, what is going on? I'll say. Enough chatter, focus now, you will need it. This round settles it all. What? Settles it all? I've gotten a perfect score up until this point. Okay, that was that was her right ball. That is how it's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. This is how it's done, though. This right here. Akio, blue ball. Yes, 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 yes. Easy for me, are you? All right, let's see it. Oh, your red ball hit that thing. The wait, it didn't even matter. She still kept momentum. All right, I'm going to really have to plow this one. We are not doing a good job of making friends if we are going this competitive day one, but... Blue ball! Shit! Oh. I'm losing it! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is easy. This is easy. This is easy. We can take first place here, no problem. Akio, blue ball. Akio. Let it go. That's right. That's Splendid. right. That's right. I hate that I missed that one up. I just held the button too long. I was second guessing it. We were one off for being perfect. Both of you. Well done. Thanks, Professor. Was this a challenge? I hope getting a perfect score isn't a challenge. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. I, um, 
Okay, so we didn't crush all of her hopes and dreams with our performance out there. That's good. That one blue ball that we pulled just a little bit too far really helped ease the tension around here, I think. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you understand. GG, well played. Shake on it. She's a Gryffindor. You can still shake on it. The fact that she's Gryffindor is probably why she was brave enough to meet friends in the first place. Notice I haven't talked to anybody. I'm introverted Hufflepuff over here. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Um, I don't think I'll be able to say this word like she did, but, um... Is the magic the same? Do you know different spells? This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Interesting. See, that's cool. I didn't know that. Do they just use hand symbols or words? I've always wondered, like... In the first few movies for Harry Potter, right? They're like, this is the magic word. This is the spell cast you have to do. And they practice that for like the first like five movies, maybe four movies. Then all of a sudden people start just waving their wands around and powers shooting out. You don't know what anyone's casting anymore. Where did all the words go? That's incredible you don't use wands. Sorry, I got <laughs> I trailed off there a little bit. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. Well, thank you for telling me about, about your home. That sounds excellent. I do want to hear some more, but I think I'm going to pass for now. I'm sure we'll see each other again. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu. Wagadu. I'm glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Wagadu, don't keep him waiting. I never would have guessed that's how you spelled Wagadu. That's wild. If you're so inclined. Professor Ronan! You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation. It was actually well, so fun. An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. Homesick, maybe. <clears throat> now... Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Right, to catch you Expect back up. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Understood, Professor Ronan. Thank you so much. Uh, it's been a great first impression. And Charms class, I think, went great. Next episode, we're going to be checking Hello out there. the defense... The new student, the Defense Against the Dark Arts class. Thank you guys for being here. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you again very soon. Yes.